The Chimacuan language family consists of one extinct and one severely endangered language spoken in northwestern Washington State, United States, on the Olympic Peninsula. It is part of the Mosin Sprachbund, and one of its languages is famous for having no nasal consonants. The two languages were about as close as English and German. Family division Chemicum, also known as Chimacum or Chimicum, Quileute, also known as Quileute, Chemicum is now extinct. It was spoken until the 1940s on the east side of the Olympic Peninsula between Port Townsend and Hood Canal. The name Chemicum is an anglicized version of a Salishan word for the Chimacum people, such as the nearby Twana word beak, teak beak, earlier, teak macum. Quileute is now severely endangered. It is spoken by a few people south of the Macaw on the western coast of the Olympic Peninsula south of Cape Flattery at La Push and the Lower Ho River. The name Quileute comes from Kaoli Yo, Kaol Iacute Jot, the name of a village at La Push. Phonology The Chimacuan languages have phonemic inventories similar to other languages of the Mosin Sprachbund, with three vowels, ejective consonants, uvular consonants, and lateral affricates. However, both languages have typological oddities. Chemicum had no simple velar consonants, and Quileute has no nasal consonants. Proto Chimacuan The pre Proto Chimacuan sound system contained three vowels, long and short, and lexical stress. It had the following consonants. In Proto Chimacuan, the series t, t, t occurred mostly before the vowel i. On the other hand, kkx occurred mostly before the vowels a, o. These series may have become separate phonemes before Chimacum and Quileute split, but if so, it seems clear that they had been allophones not long before then. In Quileute the stress became fixed to the penultimate syllable, though subsequent changes made it somewhat unpredictable, and the glottalized sonorants became allophonic with glottal stop sonorant sequences and so can no longer be considered phonemic. Open syllables developed long vowels. Perhaps as recently as the late 19th century, the nasals per meter nm, n, became voiced plosives bd bd. In chemicum, stressed vowels frequently acquired glottal stops, t, t, t depalatalized to, t, s, t, s, s, while, k, k, x, palatalized to, t, 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 sonorants lost their glottalization, and the approximants, j, w, j, w, t, hardened to, t, k, in the environment of stressed vowels. References Bibliography Andrade, Manuel J. 1933. Quileute. New York, Columbia University Press, Extract from Handbook of American Indian Languages, Volume 3, pp. 151-292, Andrade's Doctoral Dissertation. Andrade, Manuel J. 1953. Notes on the Relations Between Chemicum and Quileute. International Journal of American Linguistics, 19, 212-215. Andrade, Manuel J., and Frachtenberg, Leo J., 1931. Quileute Texts. Columbia University Contributions to Anthropology, Vol. 12. New York, Columbia University Press. Boas, Franz, 1892. Notes on the Chemicum Language. American Anthropologist, 537-44. Campbell, Lyle, 1997. American Indian Languages, The Historical Linguistics of Native America. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0 19 509427 1. Mithin, Marianne. 1999. The Languages of Native North America. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0 521 23228 7. HBK, ISBN 0 521 29875 X.